Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys where you can find your name servers and how to set them up in AC panel and WHM environment. So let's get right into it. Now, when you log into WHM or the web hosting management for the first time, you can use the default cprapid.com name servers as a placeholder and these defaults are incompatible with many domain names, including .com domains. So keep that in mind. And to make sure visitors can actually visit your website, uh, you need to update those name servers. Now to configure them, uh, you are going to need to go ahead and uh, navigate to WHM's name server selection by going to WHM home, uh, server, uh, service configuration, name server selection, select the desired name server software, and then click save. Uh, now, if you already use your registrar's DNS services, you can skip this. Uh, and uh, this system will install uh, uh, Power DNS by default. Then you can configure those default name servers by just navigating to WHM, uh, basic web host manager setup. You can just go to home, uh, server configuration, uh, basic web host manager setup, and then at the bottom of the interface, enter the desired name server names in the text boxes, and then click save changes. Uh, now, uh, they, uh, or cPanel recommends uh, that use the following guidelines when you actually name your name servers. Uh, it must contain a dot prefix and your domain. Uh, the common convention is to prefix it with NS1, such as, you know, name server one, for example, ns1.example.com and ns2.example.com uh, and as many name servers as you need. Uh, your name servers cannot share a name and they strongly re recommend that you use a domain that reflects your company's main homepage URL. And you can also add an IP address by going to add a new IP address by going to IP functions, then add a new address, enter the IP address or range in the new IP or IP range, uh, then enter the subnet mask by select a subnet mask for the first IP or IPs above to use, and then uh, enter any IP address that you wish to exclude in the IPs and IP ranges to exclude from the range of the new IPs, and then click submit. Uh, you can also create a or quadruple A entries for your name servers. Uh, you can go to basic web host management setup, then of course next to the appropriate name servers text box, click configure address records, and then a new interface will appear. Uh, and the system will perform a DNS lookup on the name server. Uh, you can also optionally update the IP addresses in the appropriate uh, text boxes, then click configure address records click close and then repeat this step for each name server. And that is uh, pretty much it uh, on how you find it. Uh, of course, there is a lot of different things you can do with your name servers, but so far that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.